Hello, oh, and this is how to build a pizza oven in under five minutes. I've had this oven nearly three years now. There's some speculation that this type of construction doesn't work. Well, I can prove to you that we use it on a regular basis and it's absolutely fine. First thing you need to do is you need to source yourself of the largest gym ball you can get. This one I think was 90 centimeters from eBay. I then constructed a table with uh, it's a one meter hole. Make sure that the wood is all sanded and it's smooth. Partially inflate the ball, then pop it in valve down, top tip, uh, and inflate the ball so it's a good fit. Just to make sure that it doesn't drop out, I put a couple of straps on the bottom and then use some scrap wood to make the frame for the tunnel. The tunnel is quite long on this pizza oven and I'm going to explain why a little bit later. I used a hairdryer to make sure that I got the correct street sign to come over the curve and also that's a four inch biscuit tin, perfect for the chimney. Everything was then covered in snap wrap. I put a guideline around the bottom of the table uh, sticking out about 20 centimeters to give me a thickness line for the vermiculite. I finished everything off with a bit of black gaffer tape just to give me some nice smooth edges and it also helps removal at the end. 200 liters of vermiculite from eBay, a couple of bags of cement and I used a plaster mixer instead of doing it by hand because I had such a big job. It worked perfectly and I'm now going to show you the sort of consistency that you need. Well, tell you what, that's worked out real well. That uh, tool works it really nicely. Slowly added the water and uh, it's made this lovely mix. It is then just a question of making sort of little mini bricks with your hand. I used that wooden block was invaluable with the round edges and I occasionally would dip it in a bucket of water just to get me a nice smooth finish. And all you're doing is handful by handful making small bricks and slowly built it up. It actually took me two days to actually do the whole of the dome. Um, and there's the whole project completely finished. I left the project a fortnight before I released the valve and out came the ball, like giving birth. I had an area picked out in the garden that had been left there from a previous, something the previous owner had done. Um, I laid a membrane down, damp proof membrane, and then a layer of bottles, uh, that was for insulation, and then about 20 mil thick of just standard cement. That then left me enough to put another 20 millimeters of silica sand and then the fire tile, fire clay tiles that I bought again off of eBay. Actually the tiles were the most expensive um, part of the project. I think it came in at 137 pounds for those. And then when I cut those all to shape, I then sat the pizza oven on a 30 millimeter ring of fresh vermiculite then dropped it down and then left it for another fortnight just to really get bedded in and fitted the fitted the chimney by using a little bit of vermiculite. I let that candle burn, that burnt for nearly five days in there. And then about over the next week, I just had gentle firings um, not making it um, too hot, but just slowly building the heat up over the days. Just remember, a pizza oven is not just about pizzas. A pizza oven is about enjoying outdoor cooking. There are so many things that you can cook, uh, too many to list. So a couple of top tips. Just make sure that when you make your opening for the front door and for the entrance for the chimney, that it is 63 to 65% of the total height of the dome. So in other words, whatever the dome height is, 
make the opening and the chimney um, opening about 63 to 65%. I've gone for the long tunnel because I quite like to pre-warm my wood and sometimes it's quite nice when stuff needs to just cool off slowly you can just leave it on the outside of the tunnel so give it a go i reckon mine came in well under 300 pounds and it's such good fun uh, to cook with they take a little bit of getting used to but that's half the fun and just remember it's not just about pizzas